All right, so we're back at Fairbanks Power Equipment with the owner, Phil Fairbanks in Fitchburg, Mass. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the biggest zero turns on the market today, the Wright ZXT. So what do we got here, Phil? So this is the uh, Wright ZXT with a 61 inch cutting deck, uh, 40 horsepower engine, five quart oil system with a one year service interval. What's kind of neat is the seat and the controls are all on a suspension. So when you're mowing grass, you not only have a suspension seat, but the entire pod is on a suspension. It goes up and down. Um, Gives you a lot more comfort, and uh, it's just one of the features that that makes this machine more comfortable. Yeah, that's quite the machine. Now those back ties, those look pretty big. What are those size of those? So that's a that's a large, large rear tire. I believe it's 26 inches in diameter. Um, which that's your suspension for a zero turn is. The larger you can make that tire, the more comfort you'll have in the ride. All right, so for those of you who haven't watched our right stand on video, please go check that out. But let's talk about the, uh, the family history and the, the whole business still. So uh, Ed Wright is the CEO and owner of the Wright Manufacturing Company that builds these machines. And let me just give you a quote from him. Every mower we create is built with a purpose to improve the work and lives of professional landscapers. So like I said, uh, their, their goal is to build a machine that's more efficient and more productive for the commercial user or it could be used residentially that way. Uh, to save you time, to save you money. And now, what are the, some of those things that they do that make them different from the other brands? So on this particular machine, what, what, they, what they have done to save you time and to save you downtime is they put a uh, once a year service interval on the engine. They, they have an engine on here that has five quarts of oil and essentially a dry sump oil system. So the oil stays cooler, uh, and there's more oil to feed the engine, and it's pushed into the engine with an oil pump. So you have to, you, it requires less maintenance, mm. and, and that gives you less downtime with your machine, more time out cutting and making money. Now, how many hours are figured into that one year? Is that for, that's for a commercial user? So commercial use, they, they basically are saying around a 500 hour interval. Oh, wow. There's a lot of hours of cutting grass. So a homeowner that had a big lawn that just wanted a top of the line machine could go several years, potentially, without having to change the oil? Yeah, I mean, this machine is gonna cut, you know, a one acre lawn, bag it, and do a beautiful cut, probably 45 minutes tops. So, I mean, you could, you could cut your lawn many, many times without having to service the same. So you would say it's a pretty accurate statement that this is one of the more powerful zero turns on the market today? Yes, so it's got a 40 horsepower fuel injected engine and it is one of the highest horsepower machines on the market for sure. Very cool. Now do these come with different decks or is it just the 61? So they do come with different deck sizes but the 61 comes with the 40 horsepower engine that we're talking about. This model does come in a 52 inch cut as well. Hmm. Yeah, it looks quite beefy. Now, do you know roughly how much these weigh? They look like they're pretty heavy duty. Yeah, it's, it's roughly around 1800 pounds with the bagging system. Oh, wow. All right, so what can you tell us about the Wright's engine, Phil? So this, this engine is a Vanguard engine, which is manufactured by Briggs & Stratton. That's their commercial uh, line of engines. It has an uh, oil tank here separate from the engine that holds five quarts of oil. So it's a large capacity. Most of these engines hold about two quarts. 
Um, it has 40 horsepower, and the EFI, or electronic fuel injection, gives you a, a, uh, an advantage on fuel consumption at this high horsepower. It's, it's con controlled electronically the amount of fuel that it consumes, so it, it can do a better job than your standard carbureted engine on a line. Mm. So, uh, Wright manufactures their own bagging system for this machine. You have the all steel constructed power flow unit that is attached to the cutting deck. It actually promotes more lift in the grass, more suction, and pushes the material up this tube, and packs it into this collection system. Uh, the collection system lid, all made out of steel, it has a nice spring-loaded latch that holds it down. The bags are easily removed and material dumped. Uh, one of the more rugged, uh, well, better, well thought out type bagging systems that we see on, on uh, zero turns. All right, so I see you have a Gravely Pro Turn here packed right in front of the right. Would this be a directly comparable zero turn? So these two machines are directly uh, in competition with each other, they're in the same category. Uh, EFI fuel injected 38.5 horsepower engine on this unit. The uh, seat is also on a suspension pod, similar to the right, Gravely's uh, own design, but when you set on the machine, the seating system is on its own, uh, own suspension pod. So it's made to when you encounter bumps or obstacles, it gives a little bit of, of a nicer ride for the machine. Uh, and these machines have 15 mile per hour top speed, so you might want a suspension when you're going 15 mm. miles per hour in this. Mm. Now, as far as the price point, are they pretty comparable? Very comparable. Uh, the bagging or the collection system on this is roughly $3,000. Um, you add it to the price. $14,899, so you're looking at $17,899, and the right is $14,499 with a $3,250 bagger. They're within $50 of each other in price. So very, very comparable. Yes, extremely. Now, as far as the engine and the oil changes, so the Gravely would require much more frequent oil changes? So the, the Kawasaki engine is more on the... the uh, two quart oil capacity with a standard size filter, so it requires maintenance uh, probably roughly every hundred hours of use. Um, so the Briggs and Stratton Vanguard commercial engine with five quarts of oil requires less maintenance, but. All right, so if you haven't seen our other videos we've done with Phil, we do have videos on the right standing mowers as well as the Aaron's and Gravely line. And we want to thank Phil for helping us with today's video. Thank you for coming in. Um, I hope, I hope I, gave you, I gave you as much information as I could. Um, and we really like the right stand-on mowers. They're a very good product. The Gravely's a great product. Um, so yeah, looking forward to a spring's launching. Today's gonna to be the nicest day that we've had in a while and we're ready for mowing season. Yeah, I do want to apologize if there is a little background noise. There's not much we can do about that. It is a working shop. Phil's open for business, and the more noise means he's doing good. So we'll see you next time, friends. Thank you. If you enjoyed today's video, please check out our other videos with Fairbanks Power Equipment for the Aaron's Gravely line and the right stand-on mowers.